Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So today we are going to concentrate in our second part of the ADC topic and today we are going to focus on the Arduino Uno development board for ADC. So we know that the main function of the ADC on the Arduino Uno development board is to read the analog input from the sensors and then from this board, you can see there are six channels or six analog channels that can be choose uh, for you to uh, connect your sensors with your Arduino. So you can choose from A0 until A5. So meaning that at the same time, you can only have six uh, analog sensors that can be connected to your board at certain time. Okay, so for the Arduino, it will convert uh, the analog inputs from your sensors into the equivalent of 10-bit binary value. And then the analog input, it can be chosen from 3.3 uh, or 5 volt as the voltage reference for your ADC. So here is the programming syntax for the ADC to be used uh, on your Arduino Uno board. So we are going to use the analog read pin, which is the main function to read the analog signal. You can choose the pin number from A0 to A5, and then it's going to implement uh, the 10 bit analog to digital converter, which will map the input voltages, uh, which you have chosen for your voltage reference. Either it is between 0 and 5 or 0 or zero to 3.3 volts into the digital values between 0 to uh, 1023. And then um, if let's say you are using a 5 volt as your ADC voltage reference, so meaning that the resolution between uh, these readings is 5 volt divided by 124, uh, 1024 units or you are going to have a 0.0049 volts or 4.9 millivolt per unit, which is the smallest voltage per steps in that ADC. So, uh, as I said before, you can uh, change your voltage reference by using the analog reference function. Okay. So, pin in the analog rig function is the number of pin whose mode you wish to set. You can choose between A0 until A5. So, for example, if let's say you are connecting your sensor to A3, so in your function, you just can read analog read 3, meaning that you are, you are using, you are going to get uh, the data from the port or from the channel A3. So, there are a few examples that I will show you how to use the ADC uh, ports in Arduino Uno and then this example uh, will be um, explained by using a Tinkercad. Okay, for the first example, we are going to use a potentiometer as your analog sensors. Uh, this potentiometer is a variable resistor and then we are going to connect uh, this one as the input or analog input to your board and then uh, we will see uh, the difference of the voltage uh, and and um, maybe we can see the waveform that has been uh, created by this analog input. Let's say 
a potentiometer with a range of 0k to 10k is applied with the input voltage of 5 volts. What is the value of V out and this is the value from the potentiometer when the resistor value is 50% from its maximum resistance value? Okay, so from this calculation, when resistance is 50% from its maximum value, it is actually 50 over 100 times with 10k of uh, resistance, we will get 5 kilo ohm. Okay, so the V out is 5 kilo ohm divided by 10k and then you times with the input voltage of this ADC and then you will get 2.5 volt. So the digital value for this voltage level is the value of this resistance ratio you times with the highest maximum bit of this ADC which is uh, 1023 and then you will get 511.5 or approximately 512 or 511 okay so let us see uh, when uh, let, let us see when we try to um, change the parameter of the resistance from our experiment So when your voltage is 2.5 volt, so your digital potential, uh, your digital value is approximately 511. Okay, so the, there is some difference between the calculation and the, the real implementation. But nevertheless, it is the same value of 2.5 volt.